Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and I'm just coming with a quick little update. Today was the day that me and my sister took our cats to the vet for the travel certificates for our trip next week. And let me tell you something. You know how when you're going to go to the vet, you know, there's a few key things that you're supposed to bring with you, namely one major thing that needs to you need to remember to bring? See, my sister drove all the way from Choctaw to Oklahoma City, about a 30-minute drive. Got all the way here, walked in my house, forgot her cat. So we had to drive to uh, all the way back to Midwood City to, or to, to Choctaw to pick up her cat, get her cat, get all the way back into Oklahoma City, get to the vet, and this whole time, Little Miss is just whining and crying and meowing and, you know, just not thrilled with the trip at all. But anyway, we get to the parking lot. We get out of the truck, get out. My sister shuts the door, looks at me to lock the door. And I look at her and I'm like, you still need to bring your cat in. She forgot her cat in the parking lot. She had, she was just going to leave her cat in the truck while she goes into the vet so the vet can check out her cat. So anyway, she doesn't normally leave her cat in, she doesn't ever leave her cat in the truck. She just forgot Terror. And her cat's name is Terror. So she forgot Terror twice on the way to the vet. So anyway, we get in there and Little Miss, Little Miss No Name, is very definitely becoming Little Miss Shithead. She, the last time she went to the vet was when she got spayed and neutered. So she now associates, you know, going to the vet with hurting. So we get in there and of course, you know, she's hissing and, and she's just not thrilled. And I was kind of hoping the ride to Choctaw and back would mellow her out and make her tired. Not so much. So we get in and she is just immediately hissing at everything, which she normally hisses. And that's normally all she does is just hiss, except she had anesthesia aggression when she got spayed. And of course, you know, they didn't even, they like, they had me come back to get her out of the kennel um, when it was time for me to pick her up after she got spayed. They were going out of their way to not walk in front of the kennel because she was being that much of a little terrorist to them. So, yeah, she right off the bat goes right back into being like that. They had to break out the welding gloves for her. I'm sure there's a different name, but they look like giant welding gloves. So, yeah, she's hissed and screamed and... Just was not having it, was growling. She's still hissing at Max right now. She's just, she is traumatized. But we ended up, like, as far as the whole exam, all they were able to do today was weigh her. And listen to her heart and lungs, whatnot, um, which pretty much just listen, involved the vet listening to her growl through, her tethos through a stethoscope because that's all she kept doing. They couldn't even manage to get a temperature on her because she was clenched down and there was nothing going there. Um, and they were going to do an axillary and she pitched a fit on that too. So the vet's like, yeah, she's probably fine. Um, so then after that, I was like, okay, can we, you know, before you take the welding gloves off, can we get like a disposable pad or something? something I can wrap her up like a Pareto. And I have this little hoodie that has a pouch in the front. For cats to ride in and we're going to preto her and shove her in the pouch and just you know you know multiple layer preto her and so we did and so then you know I went out to the main part of because we got a banfield which is in pet smart and so we went out to the while well, my sister was having her cat you know her cat stuff done we went out to the main part of pet smart and I got those little squeeze up whatever you know is like pureed tuna basically um, and got her a treat and got Matt or little bit or terror a treat, you know, cause they come in the four pack and she was mellow after that. Of course, you know, she would, if you mess with her too much, you know, she'd start growling, but not swiping or anything. She was, you know, just being very vocal about being unhappy. So yeah, so pretty much from now on, whenever she goes to the vet, she's going to have to get premedicated first. Um, poor little girl. But by the time we get out to the car, 
she is just mellow, just quiet the whole way home. Just, she wore herself out. And yeah, she probably was terrified, terrified, terrorized, what do I want? Terrified, that's the word I want. So anyway, so we get back to the house. And we've got to run some errands, because Homeland, I don't know if they have Homelands where y'all are. Homeland has got this sale going on that's going to last, that started the first and lasts until the seventh. But on select things, it's buy two, get three free. So like Fritos and Cheetos and Oreos and Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa and Honey Nut Cheerios and Reese's Puff cereal, which is really, really good. Um, we're all buy two, get three free. So um, went there with my sister and picked up some stuff. Oh, and also hamburger helper, tuna helper stuff, you know, buy two, get three free. Um, so we did that. My sister had to take something back to Walmart and, um, she wanted to stop at Five Below and look for this cat scratch tower that they unfortunately didn't have any more of. Um, so we left my sister's cat, Terror, who's named Terror because she tends to, she used to terrorize my sister when my sister first got her. Because, you know, she, when she was a kitten, she wanted to cuddle and play more than my sister was expecting. And so my sister said she terrorized her. Um, but anyway... So we have Max and Little Miss and Terror in the house home alone. So we come back and Max is, Max comes up to the door when he hears me, you know, opening the door to check on. Because usually both of my cats will come check, come to the door when I open it. But they weren't. And then Little Miss eventually came out of the bathroom where she had been hiding the, parent, the entire time, apparently. And we had to have a very small house, you know, my little no bedroom house or apartment. We, it's been, a, we took us a good five minutes to find Terror under the couch. And involved, we had to move the couch to get Terror out. So Terror got terrorized. So, anyway, that's the story of going to the vet with my sister and she forgot to take her cat to the vet. With her, with her, excuse me. So anyway, so I didn't get a lot of time to, to work on stuff. I've, um, I started diamond painting this morning. It was a, cu a custom one that's actually of my cat's. And I'll show you guys that once I get some actual progress done. And I'll probably work on my knitting again. I sat there and it just called me Tinkerbell. I had to tink the same two inches over and over and over again. So I kept getting off on something. Or At one point, I dropped a stitch. And by the time I found it, I had to pull out like a good three inches of work to get, to get it fixed. Because it's textured, so you couldn't just do the easy, you know, use a crochet hook to fix it. So, but anyway, on my mail that I got, I ordered this off eBay and it showed, who showed up today, like a crochet queen, because, you know, I'm a nailing little queen at times, as my voice suddenly goes through puberty. But it's got, um, well, a ball of yarn, crochet queen, and then the little heart. It's a little keychain, which I just thought was cute. Um, along with my 50-year calendar. And little pee in the pod. Squeeze it. Little pee comes out. <laughs> Be careful you squeeze me. A little pee might come out, too. So anyway, so that's been my day. This video is long enough. My frozen dinner, because I was so healthy, is almost done. My timer's going to go off here any minute. So I will get this uploaded, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Yep, there's my alarm. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.